The January Tackle Club Saltwater Inshore Box. Let's go. All right, let's start off with the hard bodies. In the box this month, we've got one here from Fishcraft and the other one from our friends at Atomic. Now, trolling this time of year is really, really fruitful and beneficial. You've got a lot of your, your hotter temperature species starting to get around, so like you've got your mackerel, your wahoo, etc. cetera. Um, tuna still are hanging around as well. Um, but you've got two different ones here that are gonna be great for trolling. One's gonna go your four and a half meters, which is your Atomic Dragster 130. And then your Fishcraft Dr. Deep is gonna get down to seven and a half meters. Now you're looking at about a 12 knot troll speed with these, or a maximum troll of about 15 knots. Uh, now don't be afraid to also cast and retrieve these over some shallows, but keep in mind, being a four and a half and a seven and a half meter diver, you may be getting down into the snags and possibly lose your lure, but I'm mainly thinking trolling for these sorts of lures this month. With a lot of the water temperatures raising up, we're in the middle of summer now, so a lot of the water temperatures up high, which is great and a good way to, to cover ground as you head out to your local reef, shoals or shipwrecks. Now, once you get there, We've got two soft plastics included, as well as some jig heads to match up with that. So the jig heads we've got are a half ounce 5.0 heavy gauge hook to uh, make sure you don't really go straightening any hooks out once you land that trophy fish. And with those plastics, you're looking at from Z-Man, the Elastec Streaks. So I've got the bubblegum color here, so that's essentially like a little flick bait soft plastic. Super durable plastic if you haven't fished with Z-Man before, super duper stretchy catch multiple fish in one plastic. But something like that is gonna be brilliant on the cast and retrieve, but I also work these vertically as well, dropping it straight down, just wiggling it back up to the boat. Now, more for cast and retrieve uh, for me. See, for me, I'd use the, the flick baits more on the drop. For me, if I'm casting, I'm gonna use this one, the Smarky Boom Baits Curlicious. This is a five inch curl tail grub style plastic. And because of the action you get out of that tail with, with minimal work from the angler, allows you to get a lot of action on the cast and retrieve with next to no action from us. So with a very light jig head, it's still gonna have a lot of action on the tail. With a heavy jig head, it's gonna be a more erratic action with the tail. Now you can fish with these vertically as well, but for me, the way I fish, I'd like to fish the curl tail more like a constant retrieve, while the flick bait one, I'm gonna be hopping, darting, pausing all the time, just to chop and change it and make it a little bit more erratic. Now, if vertical fishing is your thing, or you're finding a lot of fish starting to sit under your boat, or you can manage to spot lock or anchor yourself over a nice reef, micro jigging is a fantastic way to catch a huge array of species. So I've got one here from Domeki. This is the Domeki Backdrop Jig. So Domeki obviously being Japanese, uh, the jigs are of phenomenal quality. Micro jigging was a huge trend in Japan several years back and we've seen it grow worldwide because of how good it works. Now this one here is a 60 gram jig and has a nice little flutter on the drop. A lot of the time you will see on your sounder these fish just sitting just off the structure on the bottom. Now if you've got suspended fish in the midway like you're chasing snapper or something, then obviously work this up to the middle of the water column, you can track and trace it on your sounder. They can pick up jigs like this, no problem whatsoever. So you can make sure that you're targeting the fish beneath you very easily with a jig. And it's just slow up and down. I like to do maybe one, two, three, then do like a half to a full crank with your wind and just keep that jig going. Because then every time you do one, two, three, then a half to a full crank, you're just lifting it up that little bit through the water column and you cover a lot more of that space. And that's it for the saltwater inshore box this month. If you want to check it out or any of the others in the range, just head to www.tackleclub.com.au, pick a box that's right for you, and welcome to the club.